Log question contend with here, the population of insects t time t months after the start of some research, modelled by p equals 100 e to the t. And the first step for us to find the value according to the model of p when t is equal to 4. So it's p equals 100 e to the 4. And well, that's an exact answer, but this is a model, so we want to work to three significant figures. Okay, just put that in a calculator, 5459.8, which to three significant figures will be 5460. Find the value of t when the population is 9000. This is just a reverse problem, so now I'll create the equation 9000 equals 100 e to the t, divide through by 100. So 90 equals e to the t. And then there's different ways of doing this, but um, essentially you can just write down that t is equal to ln 90. Because that's what ln is finding it saying. What do I raise e to the power of to get 90? And that answer is t. So 4.499. Or 4.50. Okay, if you want a little bit more on that, then an alternative thing to do is you could uh, actually take log ln of both sides. So ln 90 equals ln e to the t. Bring the t down using the third order of logs. And then ln e is actually just 1. So t is ln 90. You could take log of other bases, but just let this, this is a short question. You know, all about taking uh, log to base e or just swapping it around because that's the definition of it. Next up, okay, it's suspected that a more appropriate model would be to use p equals k, some constant, times a to the t, and a is going to be some something other than e. And we're asked to show that using this model, the graph of log p against t would be a straight line. All right, well, we've got p equals k a to the t what we want to do is take log of both sides so log to base 10 of p equal log to base 10 because as i show that we need to you know be really careful here show every single step not necessarily justify it but just show it so then this is going to be log to base 10 of k plus log to base 10 of a to the t I have um, used the first rule of logs, which is like the addition rule when you can separate it. Log AB is log A plus log B. Okay, next up, I can bring the T down just like I did before with the third rule of logs, and I'm simultaneously going to rewrite it as log to base 10 of A times T plus log to base 10 of K. All right, so I've shown that starting with the other equation, we can write it like this. And essentially, this is our y, this is our m, this is our x, and this is our c. So this is in the form y equals mx plus c. So plotting log to base 10 of p against t will give a straight line. Okay, I've written a lot there, but I'm just trying to justify it really thoroughly. All right, now we've got a table of results. Um, some, some observations of t and p and then we're actually going to plot a line of best fit for the data t uh, plotting log p against t so it's these two rows we're interested in so when t is one we get log p is two then two against 2.7 
3.3 and 3.26, 4 and 3.85, and 5 and 4.28. Okay, that's pretty good. And it's all about a line of best fits. So it's trying to get the same number of points either side. I'm going to go, I'm going to, um, like actually technically we should only make predictions within the data range, but because we're trying to find K and A and they're going to relate to the, um, the Y intercept and the gradient, I'm going to go all the way to the end. So maybe I go with something like this. There are a range of values that are accepted. You know what? That's not quite good enough. That's pretty good. I'd say. So what we see is that the y-intercept is going to be, I've got 1.4. And then I'm going to work out the gradient using the whole triangle to be as accurate as I can. So I'm going along 5 and then I'm going up to 4. Actually, I have made it go through 4.28. Let's read it as 4.3. So 4.3 minus 1.4, which is going to give 2.9. So m is going to be 2.9 divided by 5, which actually is, if you double it, I'm going to do this without a calculator, 5.8 over 10, which is 5, uh, 0.58. Now, remember what I said before, um, m is actually log to base 10 of A. So that means A is 10 to the power of 0 0.58. Again, you can just use the knowledge of logs for that. It's, you know, 10, that's what A, that's basically what the log is saying. A is 10 to the power of 0 0.58. Like what do we raise A to the power of to give 0 0.58? Sorry, what do we raise 10 to the power of to give 0 0.58? The answer is A. So that's where we get that. Um, or you could actually raise both sides to the power of 10. And these basically cancel out. Raising the power of 10 and taking log to base 10 are opposites. Apologies, there we go. Right, I get 3.801, which I'm going to round to three significant figures. I think can't be that accurate, really, but you know that's what we tend to do um, if unsure. Just having a little look. So answers um, were accepted. It all depends on your line of best fit, but between 3.16 and 5.01. So I'm definitely in the range here for A. Okay, and then we're just left with C. So how does that relate? Actually, that is log to base 10 of K. So that's equal to 1.4. In a similar way, K is going to be 10 to the 1.4. 25.11 in my in my case. Yours well, you know, yours will almost certainly be slightly different. So values are accepted between 19.9 and 63.1. So yeah, it seems to be very large some of those upper values. But again, mine's absolutely fine. Don't think I've made a mistake here. I'm pretty happy with that. So we've actually, so let me just read, you know, that's, that's the end of the question. But what we've tried to do is fit um, a different model to the, to the points essentially. And to try and work out A and K, we can revert it. We can turn it into a straight line graph calculate the gradient and y-intercept accurately for our line of best fit. That's where the approximation comes in. And you can see that I do have a few points like above the line. So, you know, it's not perfect. Um, use logs to get it. And actually we've now got a possible, uh, we've got our model. It would be um, P, in, in my case, P equals, uh, wait, it was K, wasn't it? P equals K, which is 25.1 
times a, which for me is 3.80 to the power t. So that's what I'd get from my model. I could then plot it and compare it with, um, what was it, 100 e to the t and so on and make predictions and, and go from there.